holy ground. So come and bow down. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely. You're all together worthy. All together wonderful to me. Here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God, you're all together lovely, you're all
das kann ich mir nicht so dass es die Hände so aufhören. Also. You are bigger than all in the world. Yahweh, Yahweh is your name. You are bigger than all in the world. Yahweh. you master we say you are yahweh you are yahweh there is none like you almighty father Mande libra handa lika tela boshie everyone begin to pray wherever you are begin to pray and commit yourselves to god commit the youth to god commit those who are sick to god manda libra handa lika tela boshia libra handa leke tela boshanta makatola boshia rekende de la boshanta makatela boshi kutaba rekende de de la boshanta libra handa lia kande de la boshanta we thank you for our youth we thank Thank you, Holy Spirit. Manda lika tela bosanta ibrahanda. We thank you for a youth that is strong, for a youth that resists the enemy. Libra Handa, we thank you for a youth that resists all temptations. Libra Handa, Lika Nela Bosia, Katela Bosia, Manda Lika Nela Bosia, Kutraba Reketela Bosanta, Manda Lia Kande Nela Bosia, Kutraba Reketela Bosia, Manda Kende Nela Bosia, Kutraba Ibra Handa Lia Kande Nela Bosia, Leketela Bosanta, Ibra Handa Kende but upon your main servant, upon your main servant, you shall pour out your spirit. We thank you, Father. Libra handa liya kande de la boshia. Rekende de de la boshi kutraba libra handa leke de la boshia. Thank you for opening up the flood gates of heaven. Thank you for opening up the realms of the spirit. Libra handa lika de la boshia. Rekete la boshi kutraba yante lekende de la boshia anda liya kande. Tessia, Mandelia and the Libra hand the Catella was Santa, Mandesia and the Lia Cande de la Bosicu Trabayanta. We thank you, Abba. We thank you, Holy Spirit. You are worthy. You are worthy, Father. That is why we say Yahweh. That is who you are, my Father. When we call upon your name, demons bow. When we call upon your name, all foreign gods, they bow. When we call upon your name, every chain, they break. In the name of Jesus, when we call upon your name, kingdoms are confronted. We thank you, Abba, Libra, Handa, Kananena, Moshia. We thank you, Holy Spirit. Yahweh, 
Let us continue clapping hands for two first. To our master, to our savior, hallelujah. Blessed be us, amen. Hallelujah. Welcome, beautiful, blessed viewers. Uh, we thank God as you have been blessed, we've been blessed from uh, since the beginning of this day, since the beginning of the year, uh, 2021. Uh, since the first day of 2021, our father. Our mentor, our leader, Papa Lesipodane, the one that God has bestowed upon us, uh, ushering us into 2021. And it was revealed unto us that 2021 uh, is the year of rest. And we thank God that uh, uh, since then we've been resting, uh, resting with the laughter, uh, laughter of glory. Uh, we thank God for every challenge that was revealed, there was resting. Uh, for every uh, uh, issues, there was resting. In all that happened in the, in the course of this 2021, uh, there was a resting of abundance. And we bless God that uh, it still continue. It is the same love. It is the same glory. It is the same spirit as it was in the beginning. The same spirit that is still at work today. So we are bringing you love. We are bringing you greetings. Blessed be us. Uh, be greeted from wherever you are watching us, wherever you've been receiving from. Uh, be greeted on Facebook. You are highly greeted. Uh, wherever you are, we know at this point in time, many are spending time with their loved ones, with their families. Uh, it's also very, very important that um, we should find, uh, we should find, uh, uh, we should find ourselves uh, holding them together and following um, the full step of our dear Master Jesus Christ. Uh, this is what He has sent us to do on this earth, and this is the command of the Father. Listen to this, the glorious father, this was his command. As it was in the beginning, God intended purpose was for multiplication and fruitful of his, of, of, of his own to happen on this earth. And this command which has been prevailing and it, it will still continue to prevail because it comes from God. And Jesus Christ has given us uh, the platform for that to happen. And uh, we are saying, blessed be us, as this day is the last day of 2021, do not hold on to this garment of 2021 as it's going now. Unto many, it has already gone. Many are already living in 2022. And as our Father have declared, 2022, blessed viewers, listen to this. 2022 is a year of great, great, great expectation. There will be judgment from every works of life. Listen to this. Many who are reputed, many who the world look onto, many who the world listen to, many who, who deprive the world from seeing and knowing the master, many who love to lie to the world. There shall be, there shall be what? A consequences of, of the deeds that they did. 
So, so listen to this. It's of paramount that you are found in the right place. It's of paramount that you remain, that you remain in the presence of the master. It's of paramount that you remain in the presence of the master. So that you will multiply, so that you become fruitful. Let's quickly go to the book of uh, Hebrews 10. Hebrews chapter 10, start from verse 25. Yeah? Do you use amplified version? Eh? We read on the book of Hebrews chapter 10 from mm. verse 25. 25. Mm. Verse 25 reads, mm. not forsaking mm -hmm. or neglecting to assemble together as believers. Mm. Don't forsake. Hey, listen, we were going to we, men, men from men from all over the world. We will gather from, from around about, about less than two hours from now. We'll be gathering. Via Zoom, we listen. Listen, we we still we still have not been meeting physically, meaning we are not assembling in the structure, but we assemble in the presence of the one that lives in us, who has commanded us. And when we assemble this evening, we are only assembling to follow and pray through. Listen, we are offering ourselves as a living sacrifice that the command. The command that the Father has given will be spoken to us, will be seen to us. So don't forsake a moment like this. Do not forsake a day like this. It is called crossing over into a new 365 days. Listen, 366 days has just ended. And you are ushering into a new era, a new era. So there is no need for you to stake yourself in the same manner, in the same way. And you keep believing what you know is wrong. It doesn't, it doesn't work for you. You know it is, this is wrong. But because you love the way that you are loved, you love the way you are welcomed, you love the way you are cherished. Listen to this, the world loved their own. But since you have yet to acknowledge that you are not of this world. You become part of this world. Go on there. Yeah. Mm. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25. Mm. Not forsaking. Not forsaking. Or neglecting to assemble together as believers. Oh, as believers. Mm -hmm. As it the habit of some people. As if in the habits. Habitually. Mm -hmm. But admonishing. But admonishing. Warning, warning, urging, and encouraging one another. Urging and encouraging what one another. And all the more faithfully as you see the day approaching. And all the more faithfully as you see the day approaching. Verse 26. Mm -hmm. For if you go on deliberately. If you go on. Uh, deliberate, deliberately. If you go on. Is Apostle, Apostle Paul said, should one continue, should one continue to fall into sin because grace is unlimited? Listen, there is consequence of the action. Don't go and carry that disobedience. Listen, 12 months of disobedience is all enough for you. Another 12 months is come now. Don't allow what happened in January, February, March, April, May to follow you into this new January. Say no, the father will forgive you. No, no, no. Let it go. Let it go. So you can grow into, into what the father intended for you. So that you can enter into where the father has prepared for you. Remember, he already prepared a place for you. But the nature of your heart is preventing you from entering into where that was prepared for you. Go on, yeah. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 26. Mm -hmm. For if we go on deliberately mm -hmm. and willingly listening, mm -hmm. after once acquiring the knowledge of truth, after once, after you've tasted, after you've known, after you've tasted, after you've known, after you've known the truth, and you still go on, you decided to go on after you've known the truth, who are you representing? 
whom are you representing? After you've known the truth, then you delib deliberately go on with your acts because you think no one sees you. Because to you, no one sees you. Because to you, no one's hear you. Because to you, you can just sneak out and you can come in and no one sees you. Forgotten that God is spirit. He sees. He sees the thought of your heart even before you put it into action. He sees and he knows. When Jesus, in John, in, in John 11, when Jesus was speaking to Philip, how, even in John 6, when they ask him, where do you, what can we, where can we get? Where can we get what to feed these people? Jesus knew the thought of his, the thought of his heart. He looked at the, at the masses. He looked, and he looked at Jesus and said, even if we had to walk for two and, a, two and a half years plus, the wages of all we work cannot even feed a quarter of the people here. Ah. So he knows what, what he was going to say. Because he sees it. Go on there. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 26. Hmm. For if you go on deliberately, if you go on deliberately and willingly sinning, and willingly sinning, after once acquiring the knowledge of the truth, after acquiring, you've tested, you've known, you've been taught. You've not only been taught, you've seen the world be manifested right in front of you. You've received visions, you've received dreams. You've received knowledge. You've received strength. You've received something new. You've received what you never thought you could receive, yet freely you received. Then you choose not to obey. You choose not to hold. What is what? What are you expecting? What shall be your great expectation? What shall be your great expectation? What kind of judgment will, will be for you? Go on there. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 26. Mm -hmm. For if we go on deliberately mm -hmm. and willingly sinning mm -hmm. after once acquiring the knowledge of the truth, mm -hmm. there is no longer any sacrifice left to atone for our sins. There is no longer what? There is no longer any sacrifice left. There is no longer. There is no longer <laughs> repent from your evil ways. Those of you, you like to mar marginalize people. Those in the justice department, repent from your evil ways. Those of you who use your position to intimidate people, repent from your evil ways. Those of you that use your position to blackmail people, repent from your evil ways. Those of you that use your position to steal, to kill, to destroy, repent from your evil ways. Those of you that, be, that love to stand and become an interest from the progress of others who are upcoming, repent from your evil ways. Past leaders, apostles, prophets, using your position to intimidate junior ones who are coming, who are striving, whom the Lord is busy building. Then you look down on them that they are too young, that they cannot do this. That what they are saying is coming from God. Repent from your evil ways. Repent from your evil ways. Bishop, Pope, using your title to belittle the ones that carry the grace of God, the ones that carry the spirit of truth, the spirit of light. You belittle because they are young. 
Repent from your evil ways. Repent and fear the Lord. For judgment has come. It is not coming. It has come already. It has begun already. Repent from your evil ways. Repent from your evil ways. Those of you who manages, you manages a reputation and you, you, you use that, your, your, your management to intimidate those that were your juniors intentionally. Repent from your evil ways. Repent from your evil ways. You've been to Bible college and, and, and you were taught from Genesis to Revelation. Yet you cannot reveal the Christ. And when someone began to reveal the Christ, you become offended. <laughs> uh, you do not know the one is revealing that lives in him is the chief rock of offense. You know, you call him names, you call our names, saying, How can I lead to girl? How can I lead to boy? Begin to speak of Christ. When is Christ in, in, in truth that is speaking true, that little boy, that little girl? You, you repent from your evil ways. Judgment has come. Judgment is not knocking. Judgment is kicking the doors. Repent from your evil ways. For great expectation has come. Quickly read there, James chapter 3. Start from verse 1. We read from the book of James chapter 3, verse 1. Not many of you should become teachers, mm. self-constituted senses. Mm. And reprove us of others. And reprove us of others. My brethren, mm -hmm. for you know that the teachers will be judged by a higher standard. Higher standard has come. Higher standard has come. It is not coming. It has begun. It has begun. Since the, May, since the month of May this year, there's been, there's been judgment that has been ongoing. Repent of your ways. Finish that, please. Amen. Hmm. James chapter 3, verse 1. Hmm. Not many of you should become teachers, hmm. self-constituted senses, hmm. and reprovers of others. My brethren, hmm. for you know that we teachers will be judged by a higher standard and with greater severity than other people. Hmm. Thus, we assume the greater accountability and the more condemnation. Mm. For we all often stumble mm. and fall and offend mm. in many things. Mm. And if anyone does not offend in speech, mm. never says the wrong things. No, wrong he thing. is a fully developed character mm. and a perfect man, able to control his whole body mm. and to curb his entire nature. Verse 3, if we set bits in the horse's mouth mm. to make them obey us, we can turn their whole bodies about. Mm -hmm. Likewise, look at the ships. Mm. Though they are so great mm. and are driven by rough winds, mm. they are steered by a very small rudder wherever the impulse of the helmsman determines. Mm. Mm. Verse 5, mm. Even so, the tongue is a little member. Even so. Mm -hmm. The tongue is a little member. Uh -huh. And it can boast of great things. It can boast. The tongue can boast. The tongue can boast because it's big in your mouth. Then it can boast. Then you speak without not, without having receiving, without having heard. No, you, you are speaking from the one that you've received, the one that gave you what you think you have received, but not revealing. If you come and you begin to teach the Bible the way the Bible is, you are not revealing God. Because God is not living in the Bible. God lives in this world. There's difference between the word of God and the Bible. 
Now you begin to look who is speaking the word. Now you went and start checking your Bible to see how, how old who qualified to speak the Bible that was written by the word that came upon only men. The word came upon only men and only men were carried. They were carried to write what you are reading. So the source came upon a child and you begin to belittle the child because you have a big tongue. Repent of your ways. Repent of your tongue. Repent. Repent. It pleases God for you to be saved than for you to be wasted. That's why he sent his only begotten son to come and lay down his life that no condemnation, no wasting away should happen. But your mind, because he's so much engulfed with the law. Galatians chapter 3 says, because you are because of the law, the law, the law had you bound, the law had you bound. The law held you bound. And you study what has you bound. Something that held you bound, which you study. Mind you, you pay a lot of money studying what in prison, mind. Many pay a lot of money to study what in prison, mind, not what sets his mind free. Because what sets his mind free, it does not ask your currency, it's not interested in your value because itself is priceless. So you travel, you go to all kinds of theology school. You travel, you go to all kinds of bishop and prophets, and you miss them all. Yet no satisfaction. Because satisfaction can only come from the one that yes, I receive him. And you cannot receive him if you lack obediency, 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 obediency. You obey him, you become ease. You become ease, then he become fully operational within you. Then you begin to see great expectation in your life. Stop judging the children. For it is the light of the glory of the master that is in them that is at work. When they speak, it is no longer them that speak, but the master himself speaking through them. So we honor the master in them. I love you, Jesus. I love you, so I love you master. I love you, master. Uh, okay, we can go back to uh, Hebrews 10. Eh? Amen. Amen. Those of you, those of you, those of you, 2021 has been, uh, it's, it's, it's a year of rest. You might have lost your job. I just want to quickly address some issues now. Those of you who lost your job, for not allowing the will of men in your life, your reward has come. Your reward has come. You know, there were, there were some, some that uh, they've lost their income. They've lost their, their job because they refuse to, to, to be jabbed. They believe, they believe in the blood of Christ, the blood that speaks a better message. Your reward has come. The rewarder has rewarded you. For you to trust in him, for you to place your entirety on him, he has come to bless you. He has come to open, to appall. He has come to appall his blessing upon you. He has come to add all his blessing, his love upon you. So I love you, Jesus. Uh, 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 just just, just uh, uh, hold on to the truth and, and remain on the truth. 
because he has made the way, he is the way, and he has made the way out for you. Go on there. Yeah. Mm. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 26. Mm. For if we go on deliberately, if we go on deliberately, and willingly sinning, sin, after once acquiring the knowledge of the truth, mm -hmm. there is no longer any sacrifice left to atone for our sins, mm -hmm. no further offering to no which to offering. look forward. Mm -hmm. There is nothing left for us then mm -hmm. but a kind of awful and fearful prospect. Mm -hmm. An expectation of divine judgment mm -hmm. and the fury of burning wrath mm -hmm. and indignation which will consume mm -hmm. those who put themselves in opposition to God. Mm, those who oppose the will of God. Many have been opposing the will of God this year. Many have stood against the will of God. Thinking they are working for God, not knowing they are working against Him. Many have stood against the righteousness, thinking they are being held upright, not knowing they are busy sinking themselves down. The mercy of God still speak to those who believe and those who trust in him, to those who heard and change their ways, to those who heard the word and wake up the word and act on the word and begin to do accordingly in the word, to those who heard the word and trust the word and remain in what they trust in, which is the word. The glory of the master will remain with such people. The mercy of the master will remain with such people. And when the great expectation comes, they will receive the reward and not the judgment. Because it will be due, each one will be judged accordingly. Repeat verse 26. Start from 26, please. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 26. Mm -hmm. For if we go on deliberately mm -hmm. and willingly sinning mm -hmm. after once acquiring the knowledge of the truth, mm -hmm. there is no longer any sacrifice mm -hmm. left to atone for our sins, mm -hmm. no further offering no to which offering. to look forward. Mm -hmm. There is nothing left for us then mm -hmm. but a kind of awful and fearful prospect mm. and expectation and expectation of divine judgment of divine did you, did you hear that an expectation of what divine judgment an expectation of what divine judgment so jesus addresses them in luke 11 when the pharisees and the sadducees whom did not know that they were being used to fulfill the prophecy and the word that, that the Father spoke that was given, shown to Prophet Isaiah. The Pharisees and the Sadducees never knew they, they were being used, but they thought they were working for. To them, they thought they were working. And the father uh, is, is the visible. Just quickly read the uh, Luke 11. Eh? We're going to be running off now. Uh, Luke 11. Let's touch. Uh, let's start from verse 32. We read from the book of Luke, chapter 11, from verse 32. Mm. The men of the 11 mm. will appear as witnesses mm. at the judgment mm. with, this generation, with this generation and will condemn it. And will condemn it. For they repented at you the see, teaching of Jonah. You see, you, when, 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 when you've heard the word and you welcome the message into your heart, 
you welcome the word. Uh, not the Bible. You didn't welcome the Bible. You welcome the word. I want you to understand this now. You welcome the word. You're not welcoming the Bible. You're welcoming the word into your heart. And the peace that transcends all understanding will come and reside in you. Then you will not have peace yourself. You will not have peace. You have peace of heart. You have peace of mind. You have nothing to fear. You have nothing to worry because all your worries just lives your life. What is just get up from you, what it just get up from your mind, what it just get up from your body, from your shoulder, and they will leave, they will not bother you because you have no peace and they've seen peace in you and peace now become your your, uh, your dweller, the dweller because it's dwelling in within you. Go on there, finish that quickly. Mm -hmm. Luke chapter 11, verse 32. Mm. The men of Nineveh will appear as witnesses at mm. the judgment mm -hmm. with this generation. With this generation. And will condemn it. And we will condemn it. For they repented at the teaching of Jonah. Mm -hmm. And behold, here is more than Jonah. Mm. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it in a cellar mm -hmm. or crypt or under a bushel measure. But on a lampstand, that those who are coming may see the light. Verse 34, your eyes is the lamb of your body. Did you hear that? Your eyes is the lamb of your body. What are you using the lamb of your body for? What did you use the lamb of your body for? In 2021, as we are entering 2022 right now. The lamb of your body should be for his purpose and his purpose only. Go ahead. Verse 34. Mm. Your eye is the lamp of your body. Mm. When your eye, your conscience is sound mm. and fulfilling its office, mm. your whole body is full of light. Your whole body is full of what? Light. Mm -hmm. But when it is not sound, when it is not sound, and is not fulfilling its office, and it's not what really doing what it intended, what it should do, the intended purpose. If it's not doing it, what will happen? Yes. Your body is full of darkness. Your body is full of darkness. So oh, 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 uh, when 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 darkness come upon um, upon the body, it's because that body. It's not doing what he intended to do. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Go on there. Verse 35. Mm -hmm. Be careful, therefore. Be careful, therefore. Mm -hmm. That the light that is in you is not darkness. That the light that is in you is not what darkness. Mm -hmm. If then your entire body is illuminated, mm -hmm. having no part dark, mm -hmm. it will be wholly bright with light. Mm -hmm. And when a lamb and when a lamp with its bright rays gives you light. Mm. Now, while Jesus was speaking, mm. a Pharisee invited him to take dinner with him. Mm. So he entered and reclined at the table. Mm. Verse 38. Mm. The Pharisee noticed and was astonished to see that Jesus did not first wash before dinner. Mm. But the Lord said to him, now you Pharisees cleanse the outside of the cup. Mm end of the plate, mm. but inside you yourselves are full of greed and robbery mm. and extortion mm. and malice mm. and wickedness. Mm. You senseless, mm. foolish, mm. stupid ones, mm. acting without reflection or intelligence, mm. did not he who made the outside make the inside also? Uh -huh. Verse 41, uh -huh. but dedicate your inner self mm. And give us donations to the poor of those things mm. which are within, mm. of inward righteousness. Mm. And behold, everything is purified and clean for you. Mm. But woe to you, Pharisees! Woe to you, Pharisees! <laughs> for you tithe mint and rue mm. and every little herb, mm. but disregard and neglect justice and the mm. love of God. Mm. These you ought to have done without leaving the others undone. Woe to you, Pharisees. Woe to you, Pharisees. For you love the best seats in the synagogue. You love the best, the best of the best in the synagogue. Mm -hmm. 
and you love to be greeted and you, bowed down you to you love people to, to to worship you because you have money because you have resources you want to be worshiped you want them to worship you you want them to bow to you before you before you are you attend to people even before you help people, you want these people, you want to help, you want them to worship you because you think you have money. Who told you you have money? What you have is poverty, not money. What you have is poverty. Ask the rich man. The rich man had begun to say he, he thought he was rich. When he now experiences reality, his confession now changed to say he was no rich at all. That Lazarus was even better than him. This was the man who thought he was better than Lazarus. But now, when it all down on him, he began to say, no, I'm, I'm not even rich. Because all the riches he thought he had could not even save him from the torments he was going through. This of you because of time. You read it on your own. Um, tonight, our Father will usher us into 2022. Uh, we eagerly expect, await that uh, through the, the spirit of truth. Um, uh, we are just here to prepare your mind as, as of what to expect. It is a great expectation. Uh, it's, it, is, it will remain great expectation. However, the Father will declare it, it, it remains a great expectation uh, because uh, whatever that comes out of his mouth comes from God. Uh, so be prepared uh, as we all will be blessed tonight into 2022. So uh, we are wishing you uh, happy, happy 22, uh, blessed viewers, uh, uh, happy 22, happy great expectation, uh, happy uh, era of judgment, happy 2022 is going to be a, a wonderful year. Uh, those that uh, uh, continue to serve in truth and in spirit uh, remain remain so remain so uh do not let anything uh 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 take you or snatch you out nothing can snatch you out if you if you if you do not want anything to snatch you out nothing can snatch you okay as there for the fire say unless you are anointed by christ unless you are anointed by christ then your right hand, you are solidified to be held. You are qualified to be held by your right hand. Cyrus uh, was anointed. Then the Lord held him by his right hand so that he can expect what was un 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 unexpected. You see how iron bars, everything was happening for him. He even received treasure where people are afraid to receive. In dark place, people can, people people believe nothing good can come out out of a dark place. But now, because Cyrus Cyrus was anointed and his right hand is held by God, then he he received treasure on unlikely places. Even in darkness, he received treasure. Such is our case. Such is your case. And we'll declare it so. So we just came here to declare our blessed viewers, and we appreciate each and every one of you on Facebook. Uh, those that will be watching on YouTube, we appreciate you. I want to thank everyone, everyone that has been supportive of this ministry. Uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, I, I cannot uh, I cannot uh, uh, go off air without not appreciating you. Uh, uh, Prophet Pastor Onane Dane, thank you so much. We've had a blessed 2021. Uh, uh, Prophet Raymond Mukanzi, thank you so much. We've had a blessed 2021. Uh, Rafael Maike, Apostle uh, Zupisani, uh, uh, Menzi Gideon, uh, Slovo Badane, Chris Uncommon, Ponso, uh, Apostle Dennis. I mean, the list goes on and on, on and on. Sheila, uh, Tandeka. I mean, uh, uh, I mean, there's our Nigeria brothers here. Uh, there's Chidi, there is uh, Apostle Lily, uh, there is everyone, there is everyone, there is everyone, 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 everyone. I, I just want to say, please forgive me if I do not mention your name. 
uh, I understand that you are my, you are in our heart. We are nested in our heart together. So if I don't mention your name, no, I'm calling you myself because we are one. Um, we appreciate you. We love you. Um, the rest was revealed uh, to us this year, and we believe that uh, uh, we, what we are expecting unto us, uh, we are expecting a, 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 a great expectation, and it will be so unto us. Uh, God never fails. God never fails. God has no reason to fail. God is not a man that he should fail. So God has no reason to fail. So uh, um, everyone on, on Facebook, so uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for your, your comments. Thank you for the share. Uh, many have received uh, this gospel. Many have sent testimonies uh, because of you. So uh, uh, let's continue to do so. Let's continue to multiply. Let's continue to bear fruit. Let's continue to be fruitful. Uh, fruitful in the in the ways of the Father. Uh, let's continue uh, to reveal what the, we have freely received from the Father. Uh, uh, and in, uh, the next the next uh, thirty minutes or so, we'll be starting life at Raboni. So I encourage and urge everyone, all the men, all the men, uh, uh, listen to this. It's an opportunity. It's once in a lifetime opportunity uh, on a day like this. There's, you don't get at the first December every month, okay? You get at the first December every last day of each year. So um, um, uh, consider yourself uh, uh, blessed that you are invited to come and, and allow yourself, uh, allow your body uh, to be used as a living, living uh, sacrifice that the Spirit of God will, can, will, will, will penetrate and uh, uh, pray and, and uh, let His will be done on this earth. Uh, even as you are praying and as we are holding in, as we are praying for the world, uh, the same spirit of truth, the same spirit of, of the Father is busy at work in our lives, in the individually, collectively, and even our homes and our families, even our marriages, our ministries. You see, that's the, one of the there is there is nothing there is nothing bad about God. There's always only something good about God. Why is you are busy sorting out on other issue? God is busy busy with your issue, doing it for you, doing something new. Though it may look old, but it becomes new because it comes from the Father. So you are blessed. We are blessed. So right now, we are, we'll be going off air right now uh, for the very last day of uh, uh, 2021. Uh, we'll meet on Sunday. Uh, to, next, that, will be, uh, that will be next tomorrow. Uh, next tomorrow, we'll be meeting next tomorrow, the second day, the second day of... Uh, the second day of uh, uh, 2022 is going to be on the second, on the on the second uh, on the second day 2022. We'll be meeting that day, uh, blessed viewers, and uh, from then uh, we will we'll, we'll start uh, uh, announcing on on new uh, service um, date and time. Uh, which we thank God. We thank God. Uh, God has been faithful to us during the course of this year and um remember the covid restriction is still on um, um uh, remember to sanitize your hand remember to wear masks in public places remember to remain in your home the church building still remain closed as the father has commanded do not say 2022 now uh the command is gone no no, no. the command is still remain the same we are still interceding for nations we are still interceding for leaders no you don't say you do not say uh, 2021 is finished. Maybe 2022, we have to open. No, 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 no. Do not disobey the Father. Do not disobey the Father. When you disobey the Father, you disobey God. So uh, your church building must still remain intact, close. Let it be close. Still continue online fellowshipping. And we've loved online fellowshipping. But the truth is that we've grown in spirit, physically, emotionally, mentally. We've grown since we've started online service. And uh, we've seen development in the life of our children. And we thank God for that. We thank God. Uh, God remains God. God is God. God is faithful. God is love. So, blessed be with us. Uh, thank you so much to everyone. I'd like to appreciate uh, uh, the wonderful, wonderful team in the house here, uh, led by uh, Sister Jessica. Uh, thank you so much, Sister Jessica. Uh, thank you so much, uh, 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 Sister Kanye. Uh, thank you so much, uh, 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 Brother Ebu Kadie. Uh, thank you so much to to you three. Thank you so much to you three. Uh, uh, you three. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, you three have been. Uh, you three have been there for us. You've been there for us. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. We love you. 
and we continue to pray that um, the same spirit of the Father uh, that is upon your life uh, continue to uh, uh, enable you to do it all. Uh, I thank my sister uh, who, who is here with us in spirit. Uh, um, she's been there, uh, rooted from day one. She's been there uh, uh, from the front, from the back, carry, carrying us uh, with the spirit of the Father, uh, uh, teaching us also with the word, uh, feel, feel, feeding us with the spirit. I believe it was uh, two weeks, is it two Saturdays ago, right? Two Saturdays ago, we were, we were highly blessed by our, our teaching and, uh, uh, and the, mis the mystery she revealed unto us. We thank God for such uh, development in our life. And um, uh, we, we are going to see it all the more. Uh, we are going to see it all the more. Uh, blessed viewers, uh, Rabbi Knight's International Ministries is a ministry that is being bettered uh, through and by the grace of uh, Father Papa Lesekodane. So we are nothing without our Father Papa Sekodane. So to everyone that are partnered with us and those who, who still wants to partner with us and those uh, uh, who also would love to give also, uh, we are still very much um, active on those two numbers. If you, if, you, if you call on those two numbers, uh, we will be able to assist you on how to go about it. Uh, and also those who, who want to send their prayer requests, uh, as, you, as you, um, uh, the announcer, uh, Zakai usually says, uh, you can you feel free to use whichever platform pleases you. Uh, or every available platform, either via Instagram, uh, uh, via Twitter, via YouTube, uh, via social, um, WhatsApp or Facebook, whichever one, even by Messenger or SMS, whichever one that pleases you. You can you can uh, be sure to know that uh, you will receive a response from us. So um, so if you need a prayer request, if you need advice, if you need counseling, you can still reach us. We are here to serve. Remember, you are our boss, and we are here to serve you. So we want to say, well, thank you so much for allowing us to serve you in every in every capacity that we can. Thank you for uh, welcoming us into your heart. Thank you for welcoming us into your home. Thank you for welcoming us into your ministry. Uh, we are forever as one and will remain as one. So uh, from us, it is over with 2021 and it's happy, happy, great expectation 2022. We say we love you. We say we, we you are blessed. We say we are highly favored. Uh, we say uh, our father loves you. And, God loves you. So from us, yeah, uh, till we meet on Sunday, it is to God be the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. So right now, uh, let's quickly uh, flip over to uh, Rabboni, Rabboni Center Ministry as the service will be starting.